Hello and welcome to It's Tomorrow News. I am R. Sri Ram. Florida Keys feeling Hurricane Helene's effects. The Florida Keys are not in the direct path of Hurricane Helene, but feeling high winds and rough waves. The southernmost point has rough waves that are washing up onto land and causing some water buildup, though the eye of the storm is about 250 miles away near Mexico. Through Wednesday night, the National Weather Service said Key West will be hit with tropical storm force sustained winds of 30 to 40 miles per hour. They will be accompanied by frequent thundery storms with damaging wind gusts of 55 to 65 miles per hour and an isolated tornado or two. The high winds will extend to the remainder of the Florida Keys during the early morning hours on Thursday. The forecast is for storm surge flooding with saltwater flooding 1 to 3 feet above ground level at the lowest elevations and shoreline. With a state of emergency in Monroe County, officials are urging people to leave now if they can. The county commissioner is urging people who live on boats to move to a shelter because it's not safe to stay out there with these rough waves. Monroe County schools are to remain closed on Thursday. The Florida Keys Marathon International and Key West International Airport are open. The county is working with the Coast Guard, the Navy and state agencies to respond to this storm. An enormous Hurricane Helen swam parts of Mexico on Wednesday as it churned on a path forecaster said would take it to Florida as a potentially catastrophic storm with a surge that could swallow entire homes a chilling warning that sent residents scrambling for higher ground, closed schools and led to states of emergency throughout the southeast. Helene Center was about 735 kilometers southwest of Tampa, Florida, the U.S. National Hurricane Center said, and the hurricane was expected to intensify and accelerate as it crossed the Gulf of Mexico towards the Big Bend area of Florida's northwestern coast. Landfall was expected sometime on Thursday evening and the Hurricane Center said it could be a major Category 4 storm with winds above 129 miles per hour by then. That's all for now. For more weather news updates, stay tuned with us on It's Tomorrow News. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you.